Hello, I'm, I'm David Kuick. I'm the Chief Inspector for the Stuttgart Customs Office. Customs Customer Service Office is located on Panzer Kasern here in, uh, in Bublingen. Uh, when you enter the gate, it's in building 2913, which is the first building on the right. It's up on the third floor in room 303. Uh, we're on walk-in basis only. We don't have any appointments. We're open Monday through Friday uh, from 08 to 1600. We are closed all U.S. federal holidays. The personnel that are assigned to Germany, all, all DOD uh, service members that are assigned to Germany, uh, DOD civilians, and some contractors have, uh, and, and their family members, have a SOFA status. And that gives them special tax and duty-free privileges on goods and services. Not everybody that's located on the installation has SOFA privileges. Please keep that in mind. There's local national employees, there's some contractors that may not have the tax and duty-free privileges. Uh, the first form I'd like to talk about is an import certificate. Uh, uh, ordinarily, you're going to use this form if you're shipping over a second vehicle. Uh, some contractors may ship over uh, household goods at their own expense or something like that. You may also order some larger parts or other equipment, some rugs or some auto parts or something that can't be shipped through the military, the regular military mail, so you're going to have to import these things in into the country. And if you want to do that tax and duty free, you have to come by the customs office for a form. Uh, please make sure, especially uh, for things that you're importing from outside of Germany, that you have a bill of lading or a purchase order. If it's, if it's stuff you're importing like a vehicle or household goods, uh, the shipper should provide you with a bill of lading um, and that's gonna, have, that's gonna show where it was shipped from, where it's being shipped to, and what uh, agency in Germany is gonna represent that. Uh, keep in mind for most of the customs forms, you're also gonna need to know which German customs office you're gonna process that form after we issue it to you, okay? The second form I'd like to talk about is permit to, to transfer. Anything, uh, any goods or services that you imported into Germany, purchase at any of the U.S. tax-free facilities like the base exchange, the commissary, and so on, or that you used a tax-free form like a VAT form to purchase on the local economy, any of those things. Uh, if you wish to uh, transfer these items, after purchasing them uh, to somebody that uh, doesn't have an ID card or is not in, uh, entitled sulfur privileges, you have to come by our office and get a permit to transfer form. Okay? In order to get that, you would normally need a bill of sale. Uh, for vehicles, there's some other documentation that you would need to provide us. Uh, and this is mostly for these big ticket items. Okay? Anything normally valued over 50 euros. Uh, uh, are, are, are items that we'd be concerned with. The third form I'd like to talk about is the temporary fuel authorization form or a, a permit to operate your use-replated vehicle. Okay, uh, when you register, uh, all, all active duty uh, personnel uh, sponsors have to register their vehicle in the USRA system when they come over here and that's going to allow you to operate your vehicle uh, tax and duty free and also have tax free fuel. If you have somebody that comes over to visit you, um, we can do up an authorization form, but it's, keep in mind, they can't be a resident of Germany, okay? Those are visitors that come from outside of Germany. It could be a non commandered spouse that comes over for a visit. It could be family, friends, relatives, uh, things like that that come over for a visit you can come by the customs office and we can issue you a form that's going to authorize you, uh, them to operate that uh, use or play the vehicle independently. What it doesn't authorize you, it doesn't authorize them to fuel the vehicle. So you'll just have to make sure the vehicle's fueled before they drive it. Uh, you'll also have to make sure that they have, uh, they're covered by the um, insurance and they should also bring documentation with them. Uh, for most of the customs forms, you're going to need an ID card, for this permit to drive, uh, people should have a driver's license that's recognized by the, um, by the German authorities, like an international driver's license. If they're coming from the States, they could get one from AAA, for example. Uh, the last form I would like to talk about is the temporary fuel authorization form. And, and that form basically allows somebody, when you, <clears throat> when you rent a vehicle or you get a loaner vehicle, you turn a vehicle in for repair and you get a loaner vehicle, it allows you 
to uh, be able to purchase tax-free fuel, uh, fuel for that rental vehicle or loaner vehicle. Keep in mind uh, some of the documents you'll have to bring in addition to your ID card and the possible passport and SOFA card is you'll have to bring a copy of the rental agreement or the lease agreement. It has to be from an official company. It can't be from a friend or something like that. It has to be on an official document. Okay, it has to show the to and through dates. It has to show the vehicle information. We also need the German or European registration title book because we need to get information off of that. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to give us a call or send us an email. That concludes my briefing. Thank you.